Thank you, Joe, for, for taking us through your, your, your thought processes there. Um, I know you, you, you have a, uh, a Zoom background going on there, but I know that in your, in your real home, um, you have an outstanding collection of, of artwork. And um, I was just wondering if you could put yourself in the, in the mind of a collector and just explain to us a little bit about how, um, how you would go about selecting a work from the show if you were a ticket holder and you were um, going into that space? Hmm, that's interesting. Um, well, I would uh, first think about, um, that, well, I collect artwork of every material. I really, I, I, I collect paint, less paintings because my preference um, have, coming from a decorative arts background as I have, uh, and also studying ceramics, I, I do collect um, broadly in, in ceramics. Uh, so that takes up a lot of pedestal space. Uh, and, you know, we all uh, live in, uh, in um, cluttered spaces, I would say, just because we are who we are. Um, and I'd have to think about um, the one thing that I don't have in my collection really are baskets so i i thought that um you know michael o'reilly's pieces would work would work really well with what i do have because i do have a lot of ceramic vessels and his work is obviously vessel oriented but it's transparent and uh using a whole different material so i thought that the association of having a piece like that with what I've already got would, would you know, make a wonderful statement. Um, and uh, I, I think that, you know, uh, the photography, I, I, I have a hallway where I install photographs. I have several friends who are photographers and, um, and, and a hallway is a good place for them because you don't have to worry about light sensitivity. Um, I might want, to, might want to consider one of the photographs. Um, I thought the photographs were excellent. Um, I tend towards, uh, uh, you know, the photographs of nature. That's what I like. Um, and again, this is all very subjective. You know, everybody has their own uh, approach and perceptions of, of their world. And when you're in your own space, of course, you want you want to to train uh, your space to match your your um, personality in a way. So. Um, I don't have anything in my house that is, um, <laughs> I hate to say this, but, but, but is violent art. I, I don't have any um, imagery that is uh, off-putting for me in that sense, because I don't want to live with it. Interesting. Interesting. Um, so one of the questions that I get asked a lot by our visitors is, you know, um, I don't have any wall space left. I can't acquire a new thing without having to throw something else away or, or, or lose something that I've grown to, to dearly love. And um, I know from, from looking at your, um, like when we had a, a Zoom conversation and, and your, your room was um, behind you was just filled with the most amazing things. Uh, how do you manage having um, more work than you can display? Well, okay, so I just, <laughs> turned, I just turned off my... Um... This is my part of my living room. Um, I have a painting here, ceramics on shelves. What I do and what I've told collectors, um, you know, cause I've visited a lot of collectors homes, especially in my role as a curator is I have a storage area and I rotate my collection. It is time consuming and I'm not particularly good at installation as, as your installation person is. Sometimes I have to hire someone, um, but I do it because I feel it's more important to let the work have its own presence and breathe and not overcrowd it. And uh, it shouldn't seem chaotic. Uh, so even though I, I've tried to, you know, the older we all get, the less, um, we, we want to acquire um, because we do have those problems of, of space issues. But I think to myself, there's just certain work I, I can't live without. And that's what, you know, we all covet. There are things you cannot, you just have such a desire for them. So 
I've just learned how to store work away. Um, paintings are easy to store because they flat, you know, flat work. Sculptures are a little bit more difficult, but I, but I do have, you know, considerations. I don't buy anything too large. Uh, you know, I can't, I can't display it unless it can go outside. And that, that of course, I've been to collectors' houses where, you know, the very large scale sculptural work in ceramics uh, will end up on the patio or, you know, in the garden, because it's just another way of extending uh, your space uh, to your outdoor space. Um, but it's, you know, if you really want something, you'll find some way to use it. The way you, sorry. I was going to say, there's always the bathroom. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but I've been to people's uh, collector's bathrooms where they're, it's filled with art. And it's actually kind of nice when you, you know, you say, may I use your bathroom before you get back on the road? And you're in there and you're, you know, you're pondering a small galaxy of, of artwork. So there, there's no off-putting, um, you know, place for art. Art, you know, art can enhance every space. I was just wondering about... Um when you um, cycle something back into your living room or your, your, your living rooms uh, or restroom um, after having stored it away, do you ever surprise yourself when you open a box and get out an artwork and, and you discover it completely in you? Um, no, I don't, that is not the surprise, but for me, the surprise is how I associate it with something else because I, I, I may um, put it next to another object that I, I, I hadn't done before and and I it has it resonates in a different way um, and and that's really that's the, the curator in me um, and I'm everybody's their own curator it's you know certainly not a you know an, an area that is um, you know exclusive to to those who are in the field but we all have a curatorial eye and and exercising that vision I think is really important it, it's stimulating so um, changing up your space uh, can also give you a fresh perspective on the work uh, you know putting uh, a, a painting next to uh, you know a, another item that it's never been another object that it's never been next to it, it can enhance both of those objects uh, mm -hmm. because they have some you know wonderful and mysterious relationship that you may not have predicted <laughs> 